Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It is uh, nine o'clock and it's time for a Hidden Gems. So what is the Hidden Gems series? Well, basically, it's where I take a trick or a product or a routine or a creation from years gone by and I talk about how amazing it is. We stand on the shoulders of giants and there's incredible tricks that have come out over the last few years that maybe you've missed out on because you're new to magic. In the race to get the latest and greatest thing from the, from the magic shops, you forget about the stuff that's come out from years ago. And this series is designed to showcase old tricks that are just as good today as they were years ago. And today I wanna to talk about 52 Thoughts by Cody Fisher. Now, anybody who knows me knows that I love Cody Fisher. He's an incredible magician, uh, an incredible comedy magician, somebody who I consider to be one of the, if not the funniest comedy magicians in the planet. And Cody Fisher creates some amazing magic and has done as long back as I can remember. Well, 52 Thoughts is a very old trick. It came out many, many years ago before Cody was as big a name as he is now. And it's incredible, it's great. I don't see anybody else performing this, but it is a way to have something in your wallet and you destroy it every single time. So um, you destroy it every single time. I don't wanna go into it too much until you've seen the performance, but you take out something from your wallet, every time you do it, it gets destroyed, which is why you get like 40 or 50 of them in the, uh, in the uh, package. And it allows you to do a really funny five minute bit of mentalism that's very, very funny, that actually ends up with you doing some incredible mind reading. And uh, that's it, really. I mean, that's exactly what it is. And I've done this for years and years and years, and it always, always gets a great reaction. Never goes wrong, always gets a great reaction. And I'm gonna perform it for you now. So I want you to have a look at this performance. You can see exactly what it is, and then I'll talk about why it's so good. It says prediction. I can read minds. I can predict what people are going to do. I'm going to prove it to you, okay? I have a prediction. Yeah. Now, on the other side of this piece of paper, I've written a word. Well, I've actually printed a word. Is it prediction again? No. Okay. It could be any word in the, in the English language. Be honest, tell the truth. Don't lie, Jack. Do you have any idea what the word is? No. Correct. Look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. My mental prowess is... I mean, come on, Jack. Think about it. This is... This is just, you don't look impressed. I saw that coming and yet I'm still surprised. Look, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I can tell you're not impressed. Maybe you doubt the fact that I'm incredible. So I'm gonna do it again. I, I, I've done a drawing here, Jack. A drawing? I've done a drawing of an animal. It could be any animal in the world. Jack, I've made my prediction. What's the animal that you're thinking of? Panther. A panther? Yeah. Please bear in mind, I'm not the greatest artist of all time. I'm a magician, not an artist. But I'm sure that you and everybody and Michael and everyone watching at home will agree that that is definitely a panther. 100%. That's a panther. There you go. It's a panther. Is it? Yeah, it is. There, there's the claws and stuff and the, the panther ears. It's obvious it's a panther. Again, you don't look very impressed. It's just can't have an eating disorder. No, it's a panther. It's just et. It's full. <laughs> look, you don't look impressed. But look, I've got one more prediction. This is the one that's going to amaze you. I can tell you weren't amazed by the first two. This is the one that's going to blow your socks off. Are you wearing socks? Yes. Not for much longer. I want you to imagine that you've walked into the supermarket. What's your favourite supermarket, Jack? Our oh, bargains. Well, we're not surprised. <laughs> Could have said White Charles, but no, it's not even Tesco or Sainsbury's. It's, it's home bargains. I want you to imagine you're walking up and down home parking. You, you step past the uh, drunk people in the, uh, the aisle and, and you get to somewhere in home bargains and you pick something else something off the shelf and you're looking at it and holding it in your hand. I've made my prediction. What is that you're holding? What are you holding? Milk. You're holding milk. What type of milk? Uh, Semi-skimmed. Semi-skimmed milk. Yep. From home bargains. Yeah. That was a free choice. Yeah. This is amazing. Have you got a barcode scanner? No. Because if you have and you scan that, that would take you to home bargains, semi-skimmed milk. But if you've not got a barcode scanner, I can't prove it. But it would have done, and it would have been amazing. Still not impressed. One last one. Jack, I'm going to snap my fingers. There's 52 cards in the deck. Uh, I want to snap my fingers. Name a card. Seven of diamonds. Seven of diamonds. Yep, there you go. Uh, seven of diamonds is there. There it is. Seven of diamonds, along with all the others. Uh, every card, including the advertising cards, I was hedging my bet. And the joker. 
can't forget the Joker. Can't forget the, you look. You really don't look impressed. So I'll tell you what we'll do. <laughs> we'll do a virtual card trick. Okay, a virtual, virtual. card trick. A virtual card. Virtual card trick, because I'm not actually even using a deck of cards. Let me just cut the deck. Cut the deck! <laughs> so cut the deck, Jack! So I've got two halves now. Uh, which half would you like? It's totally your choice. Whichever you take, that's the one that you're going to use. Oh, that one. That one? That, that one? one? That, that one. one. Take it. Very good. And uh, what I want you to do is follow along what I do, and do me a favour, compadre, and cut the deck. There you go. You cutting the deck? Great. You're doing it brilliantly. You really are. The level of neatness you're putting into this is just mind-boggling. Okay, there in the end. No, you're doing well. Take your time. Okay. <laughs> now take the two halves and put them together, and cut the deck again, like that. Just put them together. Turn it like that. Cut the deck again. Take the two halves, put them together, <laughs> cut the deck again. I'm seeing a pattern here, Michael. Now, when you've done, yeah. turn them face down, hold them, mix them up, shuffle the deck. So think about this. You could have had either half. I've dropped half of them. Clumsy this counts. There we go. You could have had either half. You cut, you cut, you cut again, then you shuffle. What I want you to do is take one of those pieces, and there'll be cards on it, obviously, because there's cards on all of them. If, if you've got a piece of paper without any cards on, just grab a different one. And I want you to look over them and think of any card that you can see. But do me a favour, go for a number card, not a picture card. Everybody ends up going for jacks, queens, or kings. Don't be like everyone else. Do something different. Okay. Yeah, it's okay, don't worry. You got one? Yep. You got one? Yep. Great. Shuffle the deck again. And then just put your hand on the pieces so I can't see anything. There's no way I can know what your card is. Nope. Concentrate on the card. Concentrate. I want you to imagine the card right there. That's not me dancing. That's an invisible card. This is me dancing. Totally different thing. Remember the card right there? You got it? Got it. You got it? Concentrate on the colour of the card. Imagine that that colour is coming out of your forehead and hitting me in my forehead. God, this is difficult. It's not hard to read, but I think I can do it. It's a, it's a red card, isn't it? It is. Mm, that's what I thought. Boom. Let's see if we can do this again. Concentrate, concentrate on the actual suit. On the actual suit. I've seen lots of pointy bits. It's a diamond, isn't it? It is. At this point, I'm just like... What the fuck? Concentrate on the... Uh, Okay, concentrate on whether it's an even card or an odd card. An even card would be like a two, a four, a six, an eight, a ten. An odd card would be like a one, a three, a five, seven, nine. Concentrate on whether it's an odd card or an even card. It's an even, isn't it? It's like a two, a four, it's a six. Even, yeah. yeah, it's an even one, isn't it? One last one. Concentrate on whether it's a high card or a low card. Okay, I've got it. It's a uh, it's a high card, isn't it? It's a high card. Um, picture the whole thing here. It's a diamond, it's a high card, it's an even card. You could have thought of anything, they're all different. You can go check them out afterwards. You got the uh, ten of diamonds. How the fuck did you know that? 52 thoughts. So that's 52 thoughts by Cody Fisher. Now, first of all, um, obviously, as you saw there, it's a piece of paper. So in the package, you get like 50 pieces of paper. By the way, this is still available from Mir Yidid, my magic. They own the rights to this now, I believe. And they're the only place that I found that actually have them, but they have them in stock. So you can go check them out. So you get about 40 or 50 pieces of paper and you use one every single time you perform because they get ripped up. But it is so easy to do. You just fold it up along the creases. And the nice thing about this routine is you start off with the, the gags. And they are classic gags that work really well. But then when you've revealed the final gag, then you go into this incredible mind reading thing where they're tearing up the paper. They choose which side to have. They tear it up. They tear it up again. They tear it up again. They mix up the pieces. And then you, they look at a card. And with, you can tell them immediately what the card is. I mean, it's so clean it really is it's such a great way to do it now there's no memory work because the crib is built into the piece of paper and there's two cribs 
depending on which piece of paper they have. So it absolutely makes no difference. And in the action of you ripping up your paper to show them how you need them to rip up their paper, you're making sure that the crib is right there in front of you which is such a great way to do it, right? Such a great way to do it. And when you get to the point where they're thinking of a card, you've got this wonderful, and it's a little bit like fishing, but you're only ever gonna get one no. And the second you get one no, you know what their card is. Because it's a really clever system of limiting their choices. Even though if they look through this piece of paper, you'll see that there's tons of different cards on there. And it looks like they've got lots of different options. You're limiting their options. Um, a little bit like a uh, John Kennedy Mind Power deck, but you don't need to carry a deck of cards around with you. You don't need anything. You need this one piece of paper in your wallet and you are good to go. It is completely self-working. You could literally open up. There's not even a tutorial with this. It's just a double-sided sheet of paper that tells you what to do. You could literally open up the piece, of, uh, open up the thing, read it. Ten minutes later, you could be performing this and performing it and getting absolute miracle status reactions from your audience. It's packed small and it plays big. You could easily do this in a parlor show. You could even do this on stage because it plays so big, but it's great for banquet. It's great for walk around. You don't need a table. It happens in the spectator's hands. I love the bit where you go, cut the deck, cut the deck, cut the deck again, now shuffle the deck. It's funny. It's like everything Cody Fisher comes out with. It's really funny. It's really entertaining. It's really engaging. It gets people involved all the way through. It packs more. It plays big and it always works. It's always reliable and it's never going to go wrong. What else could you possibly want? So yeah, it's really, really good. And you know what? There's decks of cards out there that will do the same sort of thing, but you've got to carry around a whole deck with you. And it's not as entertaining. It's not as engaging. It doesn't have everything that this does. It's why I love this so much. So it's called Cody Fisher's 52 Thoughts. You can buy it immediately from My Magic, and they'll send you a bunch of seats of paper. You practice it once and just rip it up and make sure you know exactly what you're doing, and then you're good to go. Pack small, plays big, looks awesome. I absolutely love this trick. If I was reviewing it, I'd give it 100%. And that's the point. If this came out today, and it hit the shelves today, and it was like a new item everybody would be raving about this. Oh my God, it's a mentalism trick. They get a free choice of card and you can tell them what the card is, but it's all built into this one sheet of paper that you put into your wallet and you're good to go. You, people would rave about it, but nobody talks about it and no one performs it because they're looking at the latest NAF product that's going to get 0% on the Craig and Ryan Review Show because it's terrible and they miss out on this incredible moment of magic and mentalism. Trust me, it's not expensive and you will get insane reactions. So go and get it because it really is that good. So there you go, guys. That is another Hidden Gems in the Bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, you want to see more videos like this. You know what you got to do. You just got to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow with another video. If you haven't already done so, go check out the Craig and Ryland Review Show. It went live at five o'clock today. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already done so, go check out the Netflix, www.thenetrix.com. That's www.thenetrix.com. Go check it out and see what all the fuss is about. But I'll see you again soon. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV.